Um, definitely beats the alternative, you know. I'm glad that we have the opportunity to come back and um, practice and, yeah, back to, to play the game tomorrow. What did you guys do in practice to prepare for Florida State? So obviously you gotta you gotta find a good balance between resting and uh, and going through this stuff. But yeah, mainly go through this stuff, adjust adjust to their defense and see what they do on defensively as well as offensively. And um, yeah, Coach B is or our coaching staff is really good at that. So one of the things that you were talking to us about last night, Mo, is that you're not looking ahead to being one win away from the Final Four. How do you kind of yeah. keep those emotions down with as you get closer to game time and just with all the excitement? It's a good question. Uh, we will see in the next 24 hours. But um, I'm just trying to approach it like any other game, you know, even though uh, it's a lot, it has a lot of meaning with it, and uh, people care about this game a lot more than any other game. But um, we prepare the same way. We've been preparing all year long for every game, like it's our last one, and um, the same today. So I'm not trying to think about the Final Four too much. What do you guys do just as far as? a team, the chemistry, I mean, the bond that you guys have. Coach talks yeah. about that all the time. When you have the downtime in between, how have you guys been spending your time together? Um, resting, obviously spend a lot of time together. Sometimes it's good to shut down too, though, because you've been, you're around each other so long, so sometimes you got to just step, take a step away and uh, do your own thing, um, talk to your own people, take naps, rest. And we are busy so much that there's not a lot of downtime with all the preparation we do. So. Um, yeah, we just show up and play. Well, that condensed schedule in the Big Ten pay off now when you're, you know, obviously have one day turnaround like this. Um, yeah, I, w I would say in general, I think we've been really good at tournament times. Uh, I think we've proven that in the past that we play our best basketball in March, and whether that's Big Ten or NCAA tournaments, that uh, we're there and we're ready to prepare. And um, yeah, whether that's a condensed schedule or not, it doesn't matter. How's, how different is the preparation for obviously the team you just saw in Texas A&M and now Florida State? Um, it is different. They're obviously different teams, different conferences, and uh, they pride themselves in different things. So you got to adjust quickly. Um, they, they go to guys that are a lot different and their strengths and weaknesses. So, but we're used to that. Obviously, in the, in the Big Ten, there are big variation of teams. So, um, yeah, we, we know that. What is your impression of Florida State? Um, yeah, they definitely pride themselves in, in defense with their length and athleticism. Um, they play a very strong conference. So. You can't look at their, uh, their, their, their record or anything. You, you just got to play, you know. Seeding doesn't matter anyway, so we're not looking at that. Um, yeah, they're, they're competitors, and they, they're going to be there tomorrow. But when so many people look at them as a Cinderella, the ninth seed that wasn't supposed to be here, they took such a crazy path to get here. So do you guys feel like maybe you've been overlooked a little bit too with... I mean, like I said, we talked about the rankings yesterday. I mean, what happened to this ESPN ranking that came out the other day, you know? Mm -hmm. That one is away now too so I don't really I don't really think a lot of of ranking seating I think that's overrated um, nobody is talking about us all year and we like that and we, do, we don't care we just play um, it doesn't change our mentality our approach we want to win every game either way and uh, we prepare as much as we can not the ultimate goal but obviously everybody's goal is to get to the final four be one win away what does that mean to you um, <laughs> Obviously a lot, and I'm not trying to put it in perspective too much because we just approach it like another game, you know. We approach it like this is the next step in our road, and we see where that brings us. Uh, we've been preparing for every game all season long like it's the last one. That's the same thing we're going to do now.